Well, one of the holiday's most popular gifts is turning out to be a surprisingly useful tool for crime fighters. We're talking about these home DNA test kits. They promise to tell you where your ancestors came from, but our chief investigative reporter Morgan Lowe tells us they're also helping to solve cold case crimes. Don't eat or drink. I haven't done that. Zola Zermanio thought it would be fun to have her DNA tested. Yeah, I always kind of just tell people, oh, yeah, I'm, I'm half Mexican and I'm half white, which is Irish, Dutch, and gosh, I don't know what else. Inexpensive home test kits are marketed to people just like Zola, people who are interested in learning more about their family trees. I definitely want to find other relatives out there, but in doing that, I'm kind of opting in to to really put my myself and literally my DNA out there. And that is a real privacy concern. But it's another use of these DNA kits that is making headlines. My detectives arrested James Joseph D'Angelo. Police in California used what's called familial DNA and an unnamed genealogy site to capture a man they believe to be the elusive Golden State Killer. Genetic data uploaded to public genealogical websites can help detectives locate potential relatives. Investigators study family trees and zero in on potential suspects through a process of elimination. And it still may be quite a large list of potential investigative leads, but it's better than they had before. So Kimberly Kobachek is the director of the Forensic you know, Sciences Center at ASU West. She says these websites have greatly expanded the pool of DNA samples available for crime DNA comparisons. With the advent of people voluntarily giving up their DNA, that, that's a whole new ball game. Familial DNA was used to identify the man now charged in the murder of Allison Feldman here in Scottsdale. But this case did not involve a home DNA test kit. We came up with a family linkage to this person that was in custody. And then through that information, they were able to identify the sibling of that person in custody. So the familial DNA is, is off of siblings, parents uh, in the same bloodline. Detectives say they ran a sample found at the crime scene against their prison inmate DNA database and found someone who appeared to be the killer's brother. That led them to Ian Mitchum, the man now charged with murder. I definitely think it adds another layer, and I think we're going to see a lot more of this. So there are some real privacy questions arising out of these cases because police are in some cases analyzing the DNA of thousands of innocent people just to find someone who may be related to a guilty person. So are these companies just allowing police and other law enforcement to come in and look through these DNA profiles? So in some cases, police are just uploading a profile and looking for relatives just like anybody else would do. But in other cases, they're appearing with a subpoena and compelling the companies to open up their books. As you say, these uh, kits are so popular. So this is a lot of information that people may not have thought about. Morgan, thank you.